welcome. That Jesus rode in Jerusalem on a donkey is not really contested. We remember this event every Palm Sunday. It's recorded in the biblical text, and often the discussion that follows is the significance of Jesus being on a colt or a donkey rather than being on a horse, and of how the donkey is itself a reminder of an Old Testament prophecy. A man on a donkey? It's an easy thing to picture, although not such an easy thing to do in practice, I suspect, if you're not used to riding on donkeys. What would that whole scene have looked like? Is that something you can easily picture? In that image, I suspect you see people walking around, shouting out Hosanna from the side of the road as the donkey ambles by. Whatever way you picture it, I suspect you see an image unfold of cheering people moving at walking pace. I was struck some time ago when a friend shared a video called God's Speed, The Pace of Being Known. It's a great video to watch. So much of the world we live in is hurried. We live our lives at a fast pace. Fast food, videos at 1.5 speed, summarised audiobooks, electric scooters with their limiters turned off. Yet Jesus' mission unfolded at walking pace. This is then the natural pace of the good news. We know that Jesus sat and spent time with his friends, and we also know that he sent out his disciples to walk from village to village. This is mission at five kilometres an hour. In the late 1970s, Japanese Christian theologian Kusuke Kuyama's book, The Three Mile an Hour God, was published. Jesus of Nazareth, who is God, walked at three miles an hour. God, who is love, walked at three miles an hour. Love has a speed, Koyama says, and that speed is slow. As we enter again into Holy Week, what would our Holy Week look like if more of it took place at love speed? Thank you.